Chief Meteorologist Joel Barnes here. Pretty good news tonight for most of us. The line has slowed down, not seeing those supercells developing, but we are still seeing some lightning if you look off to the northwest of us in Jackson. We do have a new tornado watch. It only includes four counties in West Tennessee now. So the original one that had all of West Tennessee, now we just have Lake, O'Brien, Dyer, and Lauderdale counties under that tornado watch. That's out till 4 a.m. Um, so that's our main concern for some spinning storms tonight going to be up to the northwest. This is going to be a big issue though for tomorrow. We're back under a high risk for excessive rainfall. There is heavy rain coming in Saturday. Maybe some people are getting additional six inches from tonight and through all day Saturday, which could continue to lead to the flood threat. We are watching a couple of these little pop up showers that have come up from the south, but they're not producing lightning and they're not really doing much at all. So none of these are expected to be severe as they come on through, but there's one near Lexington, another one near Henderson. But these are some pretty explosive thunderstorms. Had a tornado on the ground near Cape Girardeau earlier, but no tornado warnings currently. There's a lot of lightning, but these are just mostly wind storms that are moving on in as they will approach. It looks like the Mississippi River here around 10 o'clock. So I think we'll stay storm three free here in West Tennessee till around 10. Now there's still some stronger storms down to the south, Little Rock, then down into deep east Texas, and that's where the tornado watch extends. So we're going to see these storms as they get closer here into West Tennessee, but I'm not expecting tornadoes or severe weather tonight. Anyone that's not in these yellow boxes um, for tornadoes. It doesn't mean again we won't get a couple of gusty wind storms coming through, but overall I'm thinking our severe weather threat is looking pretty good for the majority of us. Here's a quick look at the future cast. Um, it looks like these storms are going to approach again the Mississippi Mississippi around 11 coming through Jackson. Uh, the forecast model has really slowed them down. Plus, look, it has weakened them significantly. So really good news. I think we avoid any severe weather for most of us tonight. Um, we will get that push, though, coming in Saturday, which looks like it could be a wet one Saturday morning and then throughout Saturday afternoon and then another line coming through late on Saturday. Um, we're going to extend this live on our Facebook. So if you want to head over to our Facebook or our YouTube channel, we're going to talk about the storm situation for a couple more minutes, but we'll head back to regular programs on television. We have on Facebook. All right, so uh, we're going to add a few more graphics here. Some things we're going to discuss um, for uh, mostly for tomorrow because uh, I think we're looking pretty good for tonight. I think those storms weaken quickly as they get closer to uh, the, the Mississippi River. So we're still, according to the Storm Prediction Center, uh, we're waiting on an update from them to see if they keep who all they keep under the slight or enhanced risk. But it looks like the main concern tonight um, is going to be for areas uh, to the northwest of us. But we've still got some pretty heavy rain on the way. Um, we're going to go over a few extra graphics here that I'm going to throw on in to uh, kind of discuss what we're going to see, not only for uh, tonight, uh, but for tomorrow as well. So, <coughs> excuse me. All right, so. This is downtown Jackson. Obviously, we're looking to the northwest. We've got uh, still very warm. It is 80 degrees tonight, folks. As we get close to eight or nine o'clock, it is still extremely warm, extremely humid tonight. But that forcing from that front, it's not really moving. It's just kind of stalled out and uh, we're starting to lose a lot of the storm energy. We still do have that 10% tornado chance, according to the um, for areas over into Lake County. It's five if you're in the orange and now it's less than 2% I think for most of us. So that's why the tornado watch uh, does only include Dyer, Lake, again, O'Brien and uh, Lauderdale counties. It no longer includes all of West Tennessee under this watch for the tornado, but it is out till 4 a.m. Uh, they think those storms are going to take a while before they get here. Um, but here's our threat. We should get an update, I think, from the Storm Prediction Center real soon. They worked on that watch. Then they're going to work on trimming, I think, some of the level four, threes, and twos down. We should have that for you tonight, though, um, at 10. And the original tornado threat uh, was in this area. And this is still the main concern for tornadoes tonight. If you're in the brown, I don't think you really have any chance at all. But again, the tornado watch just out for these four counties here in West Tennessee. That's where the storms are still kind of strong. Now, this is a little concerning. This is tonight's risk for heavy rain and then tomorrow's risk. So some of these areas up here could end up with six inches of rain from tonight into the day tomorrow. And I know we've got a lot of swollen creeks, river streams, we've got water piled up all over places. And that's going to continue to be a problem uh, for Saturday. So Saturday we could be looking at some nasty flash flooding 
by the time the rain's done because it's going to come in several rounds on Saturday. We'll get back to those storms here real quick. If you're watching us on TV, just one more update on these little guys. Um, they're not really doing a whole lot, but you may get some rain from them east of Lexington near Luray as they come by. By the way, the National Weather Service, uh, they did confirm an EF1 tornado in Hardin County. We're going to have that for you coming up um, at 10 plus. We spoke to them and it sounds like they're going to conduct a storm survey for Madison County, not from what we had yesterday, but for Wednesday. Remember, you're watching our coverage on Wednesday. We confirmed that tornado for a few minutes. I believe that was near Mercer. Um, they're going to go out there and check that out for damage. They, it, may, it may not be Sunday, Monday till they get out because they're going to be busy. They don't want to get out in these thunderstorms for tomorrow, but a lot of storms tonight. A lot of this just looking like straight line winds, not seeing a whole lot of rotation, but they are starting to pick up speed moving on in, but they do not look overly organized to me. I like the looks of them. They don't look too bad uh, down from Little Rock again. Um, there's still some rotating storms into East Texas. It's been a horrible day there. I would have been uh, uh, awful busy uh, six years ago when I was in Tyler, Texas covering weather if I was there, but I'm happy to be here. Happier by far to be here in West Tennessee. 99.9% .9 of you are nice people. Here's what we're looking at. Uh, here comes the line uh, by 11 o'clock approaching the Mississippi. Remember earlier, if you watched us at 5 and 6, they had this line coming in by 9 and then through Jackson around 11. The latest future cast, not only have they slowed the line down, but look how weak it gets as it moves across the Mississippi. So that's why I don't think we're going to get much for severe weather tonight. Maybe in these counties that are under the tornado watch. Other than that, this just looks like uh, some rain coming through. Now, there could be some stronger storms trying to get going as the line begins to move again. So the line's going to stall out tonight, but into the day tomorrow, it's going to start to push east again. That's going to create instability and push some more storms our way. I don't think any of this is going to be severe in the early mornings, but there's probably in the morning, but it's probably going to be raining into the morning hours. Um, my daughter, for example, has a soccer game that may get rained out. We'll see how things are shaping up Saturday into the morning, uh, but I don't think we're going to be severe weather on uh, Saturday morning. Now our severe weather threat, I think comes in around noon and we're still expecting a line. This is the final push, which is going to come through. We should get a new update on this forecast model. This is the same one we showed you at five and six, so maybe it'll adjust the timing like that short range model did. So we'll see uh, still on the Saturday timing for events. So be sure to join us tonight at 10 for the brand new forecast model. Um, we've got a couple other forecast models that we look at that are coming in between now and 10 o'clock as well, which will tell the story a little bit better on Saturday. So but currently we're thinking five, six o'clock, the severe weather threats done. But look at the rain. It doesn't stop even after the severe weather threats done until we get into Sunday morning and there could even be some lingering showers on Sunday. So Saturday's risk right now is a level three does include most of West Tennessee, uh, pretty much all of us, and then we're under that 5% tornado threat. So uh, can't rule out a couple of tornadoes Saturday. It looks more likely a wind event for us as it comes on through. Um, but uh, so that's that's it. That's what we got. I do want to show you this. This is additional rainfall. According to the latest GFS forecast model has three to four in Jackson totals as high as six, maybe seven in those our northwestern counties. So that's why you have that excessive rain and flood outlooks. All right, we got more coming up at 10 again. Join us at 10. We've got brand new forecast models that we're going to put out for you uh, for Saturday's timing and event. And um, obviously, if any of those storms get closer to us in the tornado watch area, uh, we'll be talking about those too. But I think we're good to go for severe weather, um, at least for the next hour here in West Tennessee.